more on this now with Benjamin Newman, a professor of biological sciences. He joins me now from Texarkana, Texas. Thank you so much for being with us on the program. Now, as we just heard, they're asking for cured patients to donate plasma cells now to find a cure. Walk us through the process of how exactly this is going to help find a cure. Absolutely. Um, Sorry, my picture is frozen. There we go. Okay. Um, so what they're talking about are uh, antibodies. So these are uh, little leftovers from an immune response to the coronavirus. And what they do is they act sort of like a little handle. They'll stick to the virus and then other cells and other proteins can grab a hold of the virus using these handles. Now, what they're tr talking about trying to do is to take the antibodies out of a person who has survived and put them into a person um, to potentially cure the disease. This is possible, and there may be some uh, benefit to this, but there's also a history with coronaviruses of uh, sort of these lopsided uh, immune responses that are mostly just antibodies, actually occasionally making the disease worse. So it's something they're going to have to do very carefully. Now, those antibodies also have a great deal of use inside the laboratory. They're very good at detecting the virus, and this will give people another way to uh, run the tests and make sure they're getting all the cases and uh, getting all those cases diagnosed correctly. So, Benjamin, let's say they found a cure. How long would it take for a patient to overcome the virus, and how quickly will the epidemic come to an end? Uh, I wish I knew, yeah. So uh, once a cure is found, it's probably going to still be a slow process. Uh, the total uh, time from when you would catch the coronavirus to when you would be released from the hospital or you would die from the coronavirus is still about a month. And so it would take quite a long time to know for absolute certain that a person would be uh, okay. With uh, the previous outbreak of SARS coronavirus, which is a relative of this new coronavirus, there were actually a lot of health complications that went on in some cases for years after that. So even if the virus is cured from a person, there may still be long-lasting uh, health consequences just to, due to all the damage in the lungs that the virus causes. And so there will need to be a lot of treatment and a lot of care for the people that have survived the coronavirus outbreak. And this is going to go on potentially for uh, years into the future. Um, now, Benjamin, from a biological point of view, walk us through how exactly changing the diagnosis process can result in a tremendous increase of cases. <laughs> yeah. So it's more a question of style than science in this particular case. Before they were taking a very conservative approach, something like a scientist like myself would uh, do. They wanted to make sure that every case was something that they could prove, something that they could demonstrate was definitely infected. What they're doing now is taking lesser evidence. So they're saying if there's sign of a chest infection and uh, some fluid, which would be something that you would see in the new coronavirus, but also something you would see in some cases of the flu and other kinds of pneumonia, those are all going to essentially be lumped in together. And so these big rises in numbers of cases are actually people who have potentially been sick with either coronavirus or something else over the past month. What they're doing, though, is casting a very wide net. They're trying to make sure that absolutely no coronavirus cases go unreported. And so if the testing is what's slowing these down or if, that's, um, if there's a lack of uh, ability to detect these cases in any way, they are curing that with this uh, particular thing. They're going to end up overcounting cases to some extent, but in the end, I think that keeps everyone else safer. So it's probably a good idea. All right. Benjamin, thank you so much for that analysis. That's Benjamin Newman joining us from Texarkana, Texas.